Hi everyone, our journal page today. I'm using uh, this mixed media uh, notebook and I'm going to start with a newspaper. This is something that everyone has and I'm just going to glue this down. This is an, the first layer and an instant background for my page. I'm going to use white glue and a sp this sponge uh, brush just so I won't have puddles. So the newspaper is, as you probably know, <laughs> is very flimsy. So I'm trying to put some glue without uh, having too much on my page. So got coverage, got my newspaper. good enough and I'm just going to right now uh, fold it over so I can continue and I don't have to wait for it to dry something like that good enough for me so I want to start a uh, stenciling on top and I've got all kinds of stencils that I made from a glue gun so I'm gonna start with something I have here my homemade sprays these are made from gel food coloring and water no recipe just uh, you just experiment until the intensity is what you like if you don't uh, if you can't get your hands on gel food coloring the other uh, thing that can be used is pigment powders like for a textile, textile dye. Again, a little bit of powder, water, and you've got a spray. So I'm going to start with the lighter color. I'm starting with this uh, yellow. And I'm, I don't really care just building some interest in the background and let's see moving to something else and now I'm taking a, a darker color I'm trying to flatten this because I don't want spillage or drippage <laughs> whatever <laughs> It's not uh, enough, so I'm going to take some orange, I think. And I want it a little bit stronger, yeah. And again, it's just plain. Now you, uh, when you have this, you can also flip it over on another page and you will get nice uh, print or whatever. Right now I don't bother. I've got <laughs> other things I want to do with this page. Let's put some uh, clip here so I won't have to struggle with it. Okay, next a uh, stencil. If you can call it stencil. <laughs> okay, so I've got magenta here. And I'm spraying it lightly. I just want an impression and building some background. Yeah. So next, uh, next is another stencil, but not one I've made. Uh, this one don't have a name for it. I just bought it when I was vacationing in Prague. So that's it. So you use what you have. It really doesn't uh, 
matter I just as I said want some interest and I don't know I was sure this will be stronger to make it stronger I need to reach for a my gel food coloring and add drops in it so I don't want to just uh, to take the time uh, for it now I'm just going to put it as is and just uh, cleaning a little bit my stencils I'll probably have will have a very interesting page here. Yeah. So, quite a an interesting background. Don't know how much a uh, it will be a uh, prana uh, <laughs> dominant. I don't want it to be too uh, dominant because this is a background. I don't need it to take uh, the focal uh, away from the focal image that will be on top. And I'm just thinking that I really need more interest here. So going back again, maybe using red now. Yeah. So now I want more. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to let this dry completely before I continue. So I'll be back. I'm back. So next layer, I've got this paper napkin. I've already separated the white uh, backing and I always keep it. And use it for other stuff that I have already made so many uh, videos about I'm going to take a part of a, this napkin let's see This is just another layer, more interest in the background. And let's see. So I want one here and I want one here, but I don't need all this. So I'm just going to take a, a brush with water and go like this and now I can separate it and the same here yeah so again my white glue I've got a little bit of water in s w with this uh, glue it's just easier to work with paper napkins especially with paper napkins uh, with diluted white glue again no recipe it depends on the consistency of the white glue even when I buy the same brand over and over again it just each time the consistency is different sometimes I need to put more water sometimes less okay so paper napkins uh, use the flat of the brush and just slide don't drag the paper napkin I love paper napkins with white background because then they can just blend into other backgrounds. Yeah.
Okay. So again, same thing. Sliding it. And making sure I don't have air bubbles. I don't mind wrinkles, but air bubbles are not good. Okay, so I really like it. It needs to dry, but first I want to go all over my page with the glue. I want that everything will be with the same consistency. I don't want a one part a little bit even uh, with some kind of, I don't know, shimmer. It's not shimmery white glue, but I want everything to look the same. So I'm just going over all parts of my page with the glue and now i have to wait for everything to dry i'll be back i'm back so this is dry i want to do more stenciling and i'm going to do it with gesso that i have here and i've got this uh, stencil i'm going to take it with this uh, spro sponge brush and start going over I'm trying not to have too much on so I won't have a spillage underneath the stencil page with uh, the gesso and a stencil and I'm hoping and afterwards I'm uh, going to use again sprays and I'm hoping for an interesting uh, effect because the gesso uh, is going to give me uh, some kind of resist so uh, that's what I'm aiming for and I am missing a little bit here so I'm just adding more details it really doesn't matter I just didn't want a very big space here that is empty yeah so uh, I've got another stencil with more swirly <laughs> things let's see where do I want it I'm also going to go over uh, the parts with the black let's see yeah let's put it here and we'll just see where it gets me I'm not trying to have a symmetrical elements here on the page but I do want all this uh, swirly uh, elements all around and let's see another one here as I said all, all around the edges of my page OK, 
Okay, let's see what else I can uh, pick from uh, the stencil I've got. Maybe this one. Okay, so it's going to take some time. I'm going to continue doing it all over and I'll be back when it's dry. And I'm back and this is dry and I'm going to use sprays now and that's where everything can go wrong because I want to use these colors and I am hoping for a nice result and not mud. So <laughs> let's see uh, how it goes. Let, I'm starting with this light blue and spraying. So far so good. <laughs> Maybe I will keep the darker blue to the edges, like so, and turquoise. And more of the light blue. So far so good <laughs> okay I'm going to let this dry let's hope for the best uh, right now it looks good but we'll see what happens when it dries I'll be back I'm back this is dry I really like the effect but the gesso it made too much of a, a resist and I want to add a little bit more to it so I'm going to use a uh, gelatos and let's see if what I'm thinking will work I'm taking a baby wipe and I'm hoping that like this I will have just a little bit more control where everything goes and it seems like it does so yay <laughs> Just adding color where I want, and that's what's great with the, uh, about it. This is a uh, translucent, so uh, I can smear it, and it won't cover the details I have in the back. And I think I'm not sure, but I think that you can achieve this also. Of course with watercolors but another uh, another way is with chalk pastels so I'm really a uh, I really like what's going on here how it's starting to take shape and I'm keeping the darker color to the edges And now I'm going to move to a lighter color. Just lightly. color just adding where all this white gesso appearing
so I'm just playing with the colors and as I said going over where I don't like all the white and yeah so moving on to uh, make my focal image most of the time I find that I have to make my focal image and I want my focal image to be a tag uh, here and I'm going to use this uh, scrapbook uh, paper I think it will go nicely with the, the text that I have in the back although this is completely different uh, type uh, completely different font and language of course and I'm going to use this to make the tag so first of all and I on my tag is going to be this stamp don't have a name it's just bo bought it on Aliexpress if you are very very uh, interested in this stamp then I can probably found, find the link to where I bought it in Aliexpress maybe no I think I will uh, leave it be I want to add um, color to uh, this paper and I want to use the same colors that I've used here and probably the same technique I'm going to move this aside for a minute so I can work and let's see maybe I will even take this stencil that I used in the background and again I'm starting with this yellow I th I'm thinking I'm oh it's smeared never mind I'm going to go over all this page I will just have an interesting page from to use from the leftovers trying to uh, absorb the excess so I can continue building on top of it and again putting this and now for the orange and I'm trying to make uh, to move this so it won't be the same Again, absorbing the excess. And again, <laughs> the same thing. Now I'm going to use this red. And let's see. Trying to lift it without smearing everything. liking what is going on here kind of a mess <laughs> okay like it and now I just want a little bit of another color don't know why but I'm going to use this neon green spray and maybe I think 
maybe because it will connect with the other colors I have in the background don't know just going to do it and I'm only putting it in several in small places I don't it to over don't want it to overwhelm my page yeah that's enough for me and I will wait for everything to dry before I'm attempting to stamp my focal image so I'll be back I'm back so uh, here is my tag I only uh, of course cut it out of the uh, scrapbook paper and stamped my focal image and went around the edges uh, with uh, this uh, ground espresso uh, distress ink and of course added a ribbon now I've put a double-sided adhesive tape in the back and I'm just going to adhere it to my page and this is it that's my page that I really really love and let's see yeah I'm gonna put it here let's hope I've placed it straight on the page sometimes I don't see enough from close uh, <laughs> from up close okay this is it oh I really like it sometimes it something is turning uh, better than you think it will turn up so I hope you liked it I hope you attempt something like it and play with the gesso resist and with the newspaper in the back and layering so thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now